First, to the schoolyard fight that's gone around the world. Casey Haynes is the boy who dared to fight back, taking out years of anger on one of his schoolyard bullies. Richard Gale is the bully who pushed too far and got the treatment many feel he deserved. Well, tonight he speaks publicly for the first time and apologises for what he did. But Richard also claims he's as much a victim as Casey is. James Thomas has this exclusive report. In the middle of a supportive phone call from his mum, it's clear that Richard Gale is a young boy under a lot of pressure. Sorry, mate. Is this too much for you? No. It's just the way my mum says things. Yeah? Yeah. What did she say? She wants me to su succeed in life and stuff. Meeting 12-year-old Richard Gale, it's hard not to feel sorry for him. He is just a kid. But around Australia, in fact, around the world, Richard has little support. In some cases, he is hated, because this is what he did to 16-year-old Casey Haynes. He just came up out of nowhere and grabbed me by the, uh, the shirt. And then he punched me in the face. Then I went to hit him again, and like, he must know some kind of fighting sport, because he blocked me really quick. And then uh, that's when I started punching him in the stomach. And look at that, who's that in the background? And then I actually snapped and grabbed him, picked him up off the ground, threw him to the ground in self-defence. Thanks to this video, Casey has become a hero, the boy who stood up to a bully and triumphed. I was just, just looking at him. I wasn't really thinking. I was just like, yay, finally, it's over. As for Richard, he doesn't deny his role as the villain in this drama. I was pretty angry. I'm like, I just wanted this my thing. But Richard claims that 40 seconds of vision that has gone around the world doesn't show the whole story. He abused me first. Really? Yeah. What did he say to you? It's like, oh, get the class, you idiot, all that kind of stuff. And you didn't say anything to him? No. It's not seen on the video, but Richard claims that he was hit by Casey first. But everyone thinks that he was bullied by you. Yeah, that's, that's like, that's what he's trying to say, to make everyone stick up for him. But, yeah, he mouthed off at me first, so then pushed me, so then ran. It's a different picture to the one told by Casey. Lonely. I was all alone. That's how the easy target came along. But still you went down and you hit him just because he taunted you. I mean, why couldn't you just ignore that? I don't know, he just kind of got made me angry. So, yeah, went down and hit him. Do you think you might have an anger problem? Mm, no. <laughs> well, no, Richard's no angel. That, you know, this is out of character for him, really to do what he did. Peter Gale is Richard's father. He doesn't condone his son's actions, but does believe that there is more to this fight than the video the world has seen. There was things there behind the scene that didn't come out, but I'd just like it to come out. With reams of vitriol streaming from the World Wide Web towards his son, Peter is worried. There's things I've seen on the internet, right, that, and people are showing me. Um, and apparently when Casey goes back, the other people want to start on him. And I'm going to say, stop. I've had enough. It's not just Richard, it's Casey. Because they're both going to get picked. And all I'm saying to those people, don't do it. Leave him and Richard alone. People around the world have championed the cause of Casey. Meanwhile, Richard and his family have been demonised. How hard has this been on you? Very hard. <laughs> Unbelievable. Do you take responsibility for your son's actions? 
I do in a way, because like I said, it's, it's been, not making excuses, but it's been hard for me. I've, I've been trying to do the right thing by him and teaching the right ways. A single dad, Pete says he's finding it hard. His estranged partner and Richard's mother is also feeling the pressure. I was shocked that it was my son that had actually hurt somebody else like that. And then for the guy to retaliate, I was just in shock that my son could have been a paraplegic out of it for starters. But hey, if you're going to throw punches at people, some people are going to retaliate. Tina Gale wants Casey's family to know that she is sorry for her son's actions. She hopes her son is too. I would to like him to apologise, yes. Are you sorry? No. Why not? Oh, uh, yes. Some sideline coaching from an embarrassed father has Richard a little confused. OK, so your dad's pretty keen for you to be sorry, but yeah. you're not really sorry at this stage. W why not? Because he started on me first. Richard reveals, ironically, that he has also been bullied most of his life. He says he snapped and overreacted to Casey's taunts after years of being bullied himself. I got bullied at primary school. Right, and, um, I always used to get teased, so I, I just snap like that now. So, yeah, when people say stuff, I just chase them and then hit them and stuff. Do you understand that by you hitting that big boy, he might have been feeling exactly like you're feeling now? Yeah. A bit upset and sad and scared and worried? Yeah. It's kind of crazy that you, you hate feeling that way so much and then you do it to someone else. Reflecting on the fact that he and Casey may have a lot in common, remorse started to creep into Richard's veins. Sorry that I picked on him and I didn't know that he's been bullied his whole school life. And yeah, that's about it. It's been a crash course in growing up for Richard, but he is now sure he's learnt his lesson and reckons that he could teach his mates a thing or two. Don't bully because you end up getting hurt bad. Will you bully again? Mm, most probably not. It wasn't unequivocal, but Richard's dad, Peter, hopes that it's a step in the right direction. Get them back to the same school, be friends, and leave it that in public.